The world's got some unbelievable people like Jeremy and the rest of these guys. About a year ago, I heard about a man who claims that he hasn't slept since 1962. It's my uncle. Is it really? No. His name is Tai Nop, and he lives somewhere in South Vietnam. Many journalists have written about him in the past, and for a while, he was somewhat of a celebrity. But then, he went silent. He must, like, rest somehow, though. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Sleepy time. Maybe if he had a bed from Sleep Country, he would sleep. He keeps trying to get me to sleep, but... I'm trying to stay awake with him. Hey! He's a phony! He's sleeping! Sometimes he just lays down, he says. So he just lays down, but he doesn't sleep. So he doesn't close his eyes. He just kind of like rests his physical body. So I want I need a time lapse on him for seven days. That's what I need. Yeah. And you just watch him. Imagine all the work you can do. That's what I'm saying. I think there was a statistic on how many years you're sleeping. I think it was about like 30 years you live your life sleeping. I sleep more than a third of my life, I think. This guy's living his life to the fullest potential. I have an empty place. Huh? <laughs> it's always the bald guys. Why are we talking about- This is how I run in my dreams. This is the clearest water. Like, if you didn't see those bubbles, you would never know. This guy's just moving in slow motion. Yeah, how's he staying on the bottom? Jeez. One. Oh, oh! Ah! No, 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 how? Yo, uh, I don't care for all you like shoulder mobility expert dudes. I don't care. This guy's cartilage is r nerves right on the verge of snapping. But honestly, though, you get kidnapped and he's like, yo, tell me all your secrets. And they're like, what the heck is yeah, wrong yeah. with your arm? Oh, it's Christmas. What? Get out of here, Grinchy. What I said, if, if a girl did that to me, and she looked at me and she did that, I would just get up and leave. I think I'm in love. Okay. How they make house plant pots in China. Nice. Also, you, uh, you don't, a uh, couple things. You don't need a treadmill. Oh my goodness. So like, is that a, uh, that's still a win, but like at the same time, he kind of lost, you know? I feel like he had to get hit in the foot. To flip? To flip. Oh, I understand. Yeah. That's a perfect leg to skip a rock. I knew it. Whoa. That's not even skipping. That's like walking. That seems like a special move in a game. Wait a minute. <laughs> I, I love this. Nice. This See, should be in the Olympics. Over his rope. This yeah, this guy, I've heard about him. Tom Haviland. Yeah, he's just like a, like a country super athlete. No one ever shows his face. This is just, this is the definition I feel of country strong. Literally. You know? Like farm strength. And in the end, yeah. he reveals that he's a vegan. And we're like, yo, what the heck? There's no way. I feel like once you're on the, 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 the bottom half of America, the vegan percentage severely drops. Yeah, like if you get to Texas, it's just gone. It's gone. Imagine having a rib, ribeye tex, ribeye vegan steak. Just give me a bottle of water. No way this bottle stands up. Wow. On his board? This guy got, like, he's ultra famous now. He got, like, um, a raise, I guess, or something, like, special from the company. Is this AMC? I think it is. That is an absurd amount of butter, though. Like, I'm down for it, but, like... Pushing it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. This guy should go uh, visit a bunch of monkeys and do it in front of them. I guarantee you they all start like, we found our king. Dude, I, 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 a monkey can probably do this. They look at him, they think it's a challenge. They start banging on the ground. They rip him limb from limb. That's what I'm saying. I feel like that's a way to like, hey, I'm about to fight you. You know what you don't, also don't do with monkeys, by the way? Smile. You don't look at a you monkey and smile because yeah. you show your teeth. Yeah. Aggression. What if I smile and I had no teeth? <clears throat> He's passing the line. Wow. Yo. Get my man to the combine. Five, six, seven. These are the Power Rangers. I want to be that last guy, though. Goes in butt first. Whoa. Jeez. He put another guy in him. My guy also, first of all, you got a great canvas there for a head. It's a very good shape. Yeah, he's a great you know? skull. That's the technique. 
Oh man. You go for the tail, yep. then the head. Honestly, this does seem like a very good technique. <clears throat> if I was doing this, yeah. I would remove all of my bags. Yeah, she's doing this with a purse on. Like a 60 pound backpack. Yeah, she's not like athlete. She's not in an athletic stance or anything, you know? She has Uggs. Oh no, those are regular boots. What are we? Get out played, snake. Are we eating it? Throwing a basketball with backspin. No way. Wow, it actually says no way. I just said no way because I was oh. saying it. Oh, I thought you, you just. I actually like. That's beyond ridiculous. Not how ridiculous. No, beyond ridiculous. Beyond ri yeah. Oh, there you go, Eddie. He says, "Screw this weight." You know what? Here's the thing. Obviously, very impressive, but I actually think the the rack doesn't add that much weight. It just adds a lot of instability. Parking your boat into a bigger boat. This is really cool. I don't get it though sometimes because like how is this boat not taking on water, you know? Like in it? Yeah. Like how is that boat, a big boat not sinking now that like water is going in the, I don't know. Maybe the bottom? Uh-huh. You're right. How is that? Yeah, work? How is exactly. that possible? Wow. What if there's helium in that soccer ball so it makes it easier? That's not, that does not work that way. Are you sure? Yep. Mythbusters tested it. Nice. Really? Nice, yeah, they did. It doesn't go any further. Oh, that's too much liquid. Oh, not for this guy. Wow. Wow, look at that. Wow. Is that chili soup? I don't know what it is, but that's mesmerizing. Dog food? Could be. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Are they on a cliff? I knew it. I knew it. Dude, they're not even on a cliff. They're on oh, a they're tower. On a tower. An abandoned tower. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Most likely. It's a lobster. No, it's a shrimp. It's a lobster. No, honestly, it might be a shrimp. It's a lobster. It's a lobster. This guy's spray painting stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> like very cool, but like maybe like get an external company to do this. Why does my food taste like spray paint? Wow, wow, wow. No way. <laughs> no. Oh. Nice. Ah. So you were helping. And then he starts fishing. Wow. This is so crazy to me. Look how close the propeller was. That's what I was saying. An Australian tradie has run from Perth to Sydney, 4,000 kilometers in just 46 days. All right, what I want to know is what's a tradie? A tradie? Yeah, what's a tradie? Maybe he like wor works in trades. All right, my guy's hard nose. I like it. For the homeless. Oh, that's good. This guy's the Terry Fox of Australia. But like, where does that money go? To the homeless? To the homeless. Here's a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's a good point. Wow. Wow. If I was the bull operator, I would actually be kind of pissed off. Uh huh. <laughs> like, this guy's disrespecting my art. Facts. This guy just took your level 99 and showed you there's a level 100. Huh. Huh. You know what I never understood about horses? When they run, they don't know where they're going. They just know the direction. Like when I run, my the pace I take is kind of dependent on how far I'm running and for what purpose. I think they have like a language like hiya like and faster. Then, like that means just go. Yeah. I know it's just it's tough because you don't know where you're going. I feel like horses don't think about that. They don't care about that or no, think about it. No. Huh. It's just like uh, brick walls in front of me. I don't care. I'm in the middle of an Arctic on a glacier that's Oh yeah, this is this is Dan Mace. Before, he um silence has never been broken went to Antarctica horse. with Mr. So Beast, now I runs Beast Philanthropy. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, All right. There you go. Not something you I go. would watch. Wait a second. Where's the apparatus spinning him? There's no wires. There's no ropes. He's actually floating. No, no, no. I think the umbrella is hiding the apparatus. I don't think it is. It's going in an airport. Yeah, this is uh, very cool, but I'm, I'm concerned whether or not this guy has a job. You know, <laughs> you know who's the most unbelievable human? Tell me. I know you're thinking your ex, but it's you. We love you guys. Remember, like this video if you like us. Click this video right here to continue not being bored, and we love you guys. Peace. Peace.